hello beautiful people welcome 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 back to the youtube channel and if you're new here and you've never seen this face before hello beautiful my name is Kamarela Maraka Mashala, but you can definitely call me Gamo because we are family here we are friends and yeah so today um yeah i'm starting off with the birthdays and yeah I'm just gonna make like a simple glowy Valentine's look, you know, date look. Not, not Valentine inspired. I've done a Valentine inspired look on Instagram, but hey, let me not waste time, man. Let's just get right into the video. Okay, I came in a little bit closer and I hope everything is visible. We have um, a visitor right over here, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna start prepping my face with this um Rimmel london last thing finish um fix and go spray and i'm just like gonna use this all over my face oh and by the way i've already like moisturized my face don't forget that do um just complete your, your everyday skin routine and yeah do before you apply your makeup because i do get that a lot i get a a lot of people asking me if they should just go like straight in with a primer or what and the answer is no do your skin routine first so before you apply your makeup so yeah i'm done with that and i'm just gonna like you know put my hair back so that we can we can have some time to ourselves our face yep okay as we already know the first thing brows and what i'm gonna use still is this got to be glued um gel for brows and edges to just like lay my hair i mean my brows down okay i've realized that i forgot to apply a cream primer so i'm just gonna apply this primer from mr price scarlet hill this is the primer with um, added blue light protection um, from screens and everything. So just like gonna rub that all over my face. And as always, we are ladies who like looking great on a budget. In this house, I'll be using this Signature Cosmetics um, eye pencil in the shade Dark Chocolate. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows. Now that our eyebrows are filled, I'm actually going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 40. I don't normally use this, especially to clean out my eyebrows because it's for highlighting my under eye. But I can't find my um, the one in the shade 50 right now. So we are going to use what we have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. I actually don't even like this is super unlike me. I really don't condone um, using your concealer this light for your eyebrows, but I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Okay, now to prime my lids, I'm going to use this camouflage concealer by essence just to like prime the lids so now that our lids are prepped and primed i'm actually going to use this um eyeshadow palette it says it's written morphe i'm not sure if it's really morphe but you guys always complain saying i don't show you guys the palettes um I use it just show like the shades inside so today I'm showing you guys everything this is actually my first ever palette and if it's my first palette don't ask how old it is I also don't know but it's it's old it's old <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna use this palette and we will see what we come up with 
okay so i've decided to go for you know a soft glam type of look you know browns and all that obviously this palette is that so i'm just gonna start with this shade over here as just a transition shade to you know soften things up and we'll see what happens as time goes on because i really don't know the look i'm doing but i have something in mind super something just simple super soft and everything so for today's look as well i'm also trying out these um brushes i got from using twins they sent these to me so i'm just gonna try them out so in that very same shade i've already showed i already have it on this brush so yeah i'm just gonna like go into the crease and you know pack it and blend it out pack it and blend it out so i'm just starting off with packing it and because it's not that much of like a harsh shade um, I'm just gonna blend it out by itself I'm not gonna go into any like lighter shades one thing I also forgot is how light this um, concealer is I loved it for bright colors Okay, just to continue with the look, I'm going to go into these two shades right over here just to like darken up the look and yeah, create some depth on the eye. Okay, next I'm taking this brush, very densely packed um, brush and yeah, this is what I'm going to use for my next shade. So with that brush product already on, I'm just going to, you know, deepen up the crease and by the way these brushes are super super soft I'm going um, back into the first brush we used and I'm just gonna like blend or oh, it has nothing on it by the way I'm just like blending out so that we don't have any harsh lines we don't like harsh lines in this house. So next I'm going to take this um, concealer again in the shade 40. The very same one we used for our eyebrows. And then with this concealer I'm just going to put like a little bit on the lid. Bear in mind that this is not a cut crease. It's as just laying a base for like a matte eye and cleaning out the lid so that we can have you know the lid space clean and then with the very same brush that we used to spread um product I'm just gonna blend that out So you definitely don't need to be perfect with this um, hard like a cut crease. You just need to like clean up the little. So I'm just gonna go into this like face powder. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this face powder for my face today, but um, I think I'll go into these two shades and I'm just gonna apply these two shades on my lid. So um, to apply this product, I'm gonna use this. Um, small eyeshadow palette over here and just you know apply everything here Ooh, okay and this right here this is the reason why i apply my eyeshadow first before i go onto my face because this cannot be fixed but if imagine if I had my base on, it will be ruined by now. So I'm just gonna um, go back into this. This is the first shade we, I mean, first brush we used, and I'm just gonna blend out. Remember, this look is not about being perfect. 
it's just about like blending everything out it's not a cut crease and then i'm gonna create my wing liner using we already know <laughs> we already know we don't need to question it anymore we already know let's get it gonna go ahead and apply mascara I'm using this um, volume hue mascara by essence and I'll also put on some lashes um, and I'll be back for the face okay so um, before Going ahead and applying my lashes, I'm just gonna do my under eye because um daddy run they normally just um <laughs> they make my eye eyelashes dirty so because I wear long lashes. I hope yeah, I wear long lashes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go into the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again. This is in the shade 40, the only I, I'm in color we've used the only shade we've used today um yeah so I'm doing the one layer method today I don't know if I've mentioned that already so yeah this is my placement super 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 simple so at the back of my hand I have the very same concealer I've applied on my face and I have um, a clean brush this is you know we're still using that very same set i'm just gonna rub it all over this is what i do for even when i'm using like my sponge because you know sponge tends to absorb product so i do that before i can go ahead and like blend out the product Okay, this is where we are. I look a bit crazy, but everything is gonna come, you know, together at the end. So the next product I'm going to use is this um, foundation stick by Makeup Revolution, and I'm just gonna use it to like contour my face. Um, so I'm going to use this brush, this flat densely packed brush normally i would use this for my foundation but i think i have um another one that can be used for foundation so i'm just gonna blend this out and we're gonna see what's what's happening by the way your contour when you're applying it it should like stop right there the end of your eye contour good And I'm taking another brush, flat brush, to just, you know, blend up the nose contour. It's foundation time, so I'm going to use my least favorite foundation. I'm sorry, but I'm going to use this. Um, maybelline super stay active wear foundation this is the 30 hour one and i'm just gonna use it like all over my face and i know that the question might be if you don't like it why do you use it i bought it already i didn't know what it's like so yeah, now i have to deal with it you know i have to deal with it so normally i would 
mix this foundation with um, another darker foundation but today I just wanted to see how will it act when it's alone not looking bad now <laughs> so just to set the whole face I'm going to use this um, translucent powder by Yardley this is my favorite powder by the way my favorite powder so I'm just gonna go in with this um, concealer brush before we apply powder and just you know blend out any creasing that we might have Now it's powder time, I'll be using this brush. These brushes, they don't have numbers or names, so I think, I think I'm just like showing you what I use, it's much better. I've run out of brushes from um, the set that um, I think um, will be appropriate for what I'm doing so the next brush I'm going to use is this contour brush this one is a one written contour brush I don't know if yeah contour brush yeah <laughs> from Mr. Price and then I'm gonna go into that palette that we used on our face and I'm going into that darker shade and we're gonna contour this face Ooh. just everywhere we applied you know the cream contour we're just going in with the powder just to like emphasize it and set it in place so it's time for blush I'm going to use this shade over here this is um a face palette from clicks i got it from clicks um yeah just don't know if it's there anymore but go check it if you really like it and i think it's super affordable under 100 rands For highlighter, I'm going to mix these two shades here from um, the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette and yeah, just highlight the cheeks and the nose. I'm just going to line my waterline with this. Um, waterproof eyeliner pencil from Signature. guys do you see what lashes do to a look like when things aren't going right just wait until you apply <laughs> your lashes and i think since why we're here let's just have a mini um lash application tutorial so i just applied um my lash glue on the band i hope it's, it's visible and then you're gonna let it get tacky right just gonna let it dry out a bit do not apply the lash glue and directly onto the eye it won't stick it's gonna make a mess so let it you know dry out a bit and you're gonna take the lash you're gonna go to your eye <laughs> take the lash go to your eye apply it above your lash line and you know the eyeliner also acts as a guide so that you don't go above it and then you're just gonna glue down the outer part and then glue down the inner part simple 
A, B, C, D. <laughs> Simple as A, B, C, D. How's that? Perfect. And for setting spray today, we're just gonna go back into this one, the Rema London one, and yeah, let's finish this thing off. Um, so for the lips, um, I'm actually trying something new. It's like I want to share something new in this video nowadays. <laughs> so yeah, today is the 13th, yeah, 13th of February. Um, and yeah, I think I'll have this video up tomorrow because I'm like a Valentine's Day look, whatever, like okay. So it means I have to get it like up and ready today or tomorrow. So today, this morning around 9 a.m. I don't know what time it is right now. Maybe it's around 12, but I received this package from Catrice Cosmetics and inside I think I got about eight, seven or eight um, lipsticks that I need to try out. So I'm just going to do like the swatches for Instagram and then I'll be back for, um, for my final look and see which lippy I'm going to use because I'm still going to, you know, determine. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and I played with the swatches. I believe by the time this video is up, they'll also be up. The video will also be up on Instagram. So, yeah. Um, I have already decided. I'm gonna go with number 60. This, these are the, the, the lipsticks that they sent. By the way, they sent seven. And yeah, so I'm just gonna line my lips with the very same um, pencil with used for eyebrows oh point of correction i'm actually going in with 20 not 60. i think that was 60 yeah. I'm going in with 20 and yeah. And by the way, these lipsticks are not mad. They're actually hydrating lipsticks and they're gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? Um, so we're done with our look. What do you think? It's giving me short vibes. It's giving. It's giving everything. <laughs> okay, beautiful people. Thank you. If you've made it this far, thank you. I love you. <laughs> Even those who didn't make it this far, I still love you. I still love you. Thanks for supporting. Um, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I think that's the first time I'm saying that. I forgot to say it in the previous video but please don't forget to like comment and yeah do all those great things and yeah thanks for watching i love you bye